Hey guys, it's Steve and I'm back today with a sad video. And I know for some of you this will be a little bit late. I'm sure you're aware that a project that I did some videos about uh, was a scam. And uh, it was a Tron DeFi project called Shark Tron that I thought was a great project because they had a good roadmap. They launched three different websites. Everything was going well. Token value, so value was going up, but the contract was hidden. I hope that you listen to me to never invest more than you can afford to lose and that you did in fact um, be careful because these sites, they didn't have verified smart contracts. I don't think I'm going to make videos about sites without uh, smart contracts that are verified anymore. You guys let me know if you'd still like a chance at getting into risky platforms on day one. Because to be completely honest, if you got into Sharktron on day one and pulled out before the exit scam, you're sitting pretty. I didn't do that. I lost a total of uh, 6,000 TRX to the Sharktron Liontron projects. Uh, they both were by the same guy. He scammed the whole network and it bummed me out uh, because it's funny that the real yield farms don't do anything but launch a token that we farm for a little while and watch the value plummet. And the scam guy launches a platform, a second platform, a third platform, a fourth platform, building us up a real project and then steals all the crypto. Can we at least get the scammers to only do the first part? <laughs> so they don't get our hopes up because look we know if we're playing I hope we know that if we're playing in yield farming if you're playing in the smart contract space if you're going with any of these sites that are giving you really good returns are farming you really good tokens that you know that there's a chance that there's something in that code you don't know I don't know how to read code I'm a crypto investor who took a small amount of his portfolio, put it in Tron, decided to chase DeFi on Tron because I was late to the game on DeFi and ETH. And the ETH one got too crazy. It had a lot of scams on ETH, so I'm not throwing this all on Tron. I will say that I'm disappointed that I haven't seen anything from Justin Sun or Tron Network when Shark Tron, that was one of their highest rated DeFi apps other than the Sun.io, pulls an exit scam. And and if somebody has some links to any statements they've made, please let me know. But so far, I've been going through their tweets and they're completely ignoring a theft of around $7 million at the time of the theft. And that is disappointing to me. So as uh, we all, anybody who was on a Shark Tron, you know, you went to go check out the site one day and you got this and you probably felt pretty sick in your stomach. Uh, D shark Dice, Shark DeFi, all same thing. Strangely enough, Shark Invest is still up. Um, anybody know how to make it so this isn't there? I actually was still able to claim my sword tokens that are worth nothing now, which is kind of funny. See, I only invested 10. Yay! But I did invest. This is part of the Tron. I lost a whole 250 TRX. The mechanics of this site works. So if some fools come to this site and invest a lot of TRX and fill up the pool, and I click this button before the scammer comes and steals them, I could actually get this out. And that's terrible. This site should be gone. I don't like that it's here. I'm going to close it out. It's just one reminder that... Uh, we, we got scammed and it's like he's leaving this site here just to allow people maybe to accidentally come and scam us. As you can see, if you come over here and you do an SWD, look at the uh, two TRX. This token was trading for a long time at the 20s. And now you get I can get 0.49 TRX for it just because some people don't pay attention and left a tiny bit in the liquidity pool. So I'll go ahead and get that. And now I lost that much less of a loss. Uh, lion, the lion one that I showed briefly on the video and warned people that it was a day one with a white paper that didn't work and that the only reason to invest in it is if you wanted to get in on day one, level one, and take an extreme chance. And I only put 500 TRX here. So it turned into a book website. Don't know how that happened. I'm going to get off of this because I don't quite understand that. And then I'm going to bring up Bet Fury because at least here I can slowly, slowly, slowly get back some of the money that I've lost to 
<laughs> this scam. It's kind of funny because I lost some money to Bet Fury and I was just breaking even and I was just getting to the point where I'm like, okay, now my staking tokens can start making me a profit. And then Sharktron yanks away so much TRX that I'm like, wow, even with my cool staking, which I've now gotten up, I don't know if any of you have been following me, to 784 tokens. So I'll be pushing past 800 soon. I'm almost to, uh, to 600. I'm probably going to get close to 600 once this dividend pool fills all the way up before the time that they pay out in six hours. It'll be close. So almost 600. I'm trying to get this to 1,000. Thank you for anybody that still clicks on my referral link for this website. I know a lot of you have. I'm actually very, very happy that while well, I've just barely passed 100 subscribers, and thank you to anyone who subscribes to my channel, I'm going to try not to make any more big mistakes like that. But it's pretty cool to see. You know, yesterday I did get 600 of uh, Satoshis, and uh, I'm always going to have these staking tokens. The dividend pool is always going to get bigger. Obviously, more tokens are going to enter the overall token pool. And so I won't always get 600 if this stayed the same. This would trend down over time. But this keeps getting bigger as more people come to the site and use it. So it kind of, you know, you don't trend down as fast as might be expected. You will trend down over time if you don't, if you don't farm more of the tokens. But you can, if this gets high enough, you get to a point where you just get to farm them with what you claim. So claim for a couple days, do some farming, claim for a couple days, but then you're not making profit, right? At some point, you have to stop and just start collecting your profit and then hope that the token, and then once the tokens get down to the point where they're not making you more, they're supposed to be on exchange. So you'll be able to then just sell them and walk away from the site. Uh, again, Bet Fury is a casino. You need to be careful. I've got a few videos on my channel you can go through and find that teach you a little bit about strategies to lose slowly. Um, not to win. I, I'm not trying to win on the casino. Some days I win and it's really cool. Uh, I do that usually by using Kino at this point. I do the dice strategy that I showed you guys with the betting for 80 and then going down down for what you're betting for a higher percentage win so you don't have to increase your bet a lot. All of that stuff helps you win slowly and farm, I mean lose slowly and farm more tokens. That's all that helps you do. Now just quickly, I'm going to show you the sites that I'm still using uh, to make money on Tron. That's why I had Bet Fury up because it does work. It is a form of yield farming. Um, but it's a weirder form of yield farming because you're basically slowly losing money to the casino who has the best strategy to lose to yield this token and then this token gets you money for their dividend pool. It does work like yield farming. The other site that I'm on is a token, uh, is to the, uh, the, tw the Tweak and Air site. I am currently farming and I did a little investment into here and I'm working on getting my my money back. It's taking some time because unf unfortunately the infinity token went down in value. Uh, the way this works is you you deposit money in, you get these infinity tokens and the infinity tokens get you a daily payout of TRX and they are also worth some money and can be actively traded and bought. I'm actually thinking about buying some of these uh, directly on uh, you know, to, to increase my daily payout directly instead of investing more because their value did go down. But there's a big pool, and based on how many of these tokens you have, you get a piece of the pool. I am not getting a lot of TRX per day, and I invested 500 originally, so as you can see, I'm still a long way from being profitable. But eventually, if I get this high enough to being worth 500 TRX, um, I'd be at here would be my initial investment and then my daily rewards would just be profit. You do also get, but the one that's more here, they do have straight yield farming for providing liquidity for the tweak and tokens. This one I'm doing a little bit better on. I, I'm getting two, 2.24 tweak, tweak and tokens a day roughly. And I'm just withdrawing these. Uh, currently, I'm I'm holding a little stack of them. I don't know exactly what I'm doing them, with them. They're one of the few projects that, for liquidity staking, they give you the liquidity token rewards that you would get. So that's what this is. So then you can just go these into there. Uh, this is Trevon James's program, but this smart contract is out there. It is audited. He is. Um, 
I wouldn't say a trustful guy, but he put his name on this. So unlike most other people that would hide, if he jacked everyone living in America, you could get him arrested. He's not going to be able to hide here in America. He could try to run off to some other country, but then he'd have to leave his home. The other project that's obviously seems to be at least safe to where you won't lose your money and get it stolen is Sun, the Sun staking. I am still doing this. I am unfortunate that I took my TRX that was sitting here and I moved it over to Sharktron and got it stolen. I feel really dumb for doing that. And I feel extra dumb that maybe some of you you know, did that too. I, the one thing that makes me feel a little bit better is my referrals in there. While I did have six or seven referrals, it was earning almost nothing, which means that I hope a lot of you did not put much in there or took it out after just a couple days and were like, hey, I made some money. I'm out of here. Uh, let me know how you did. I, all I can do right now is say I'm sorry. I am not somebody with a big YouTube channel. I'm not making any money from these videos other than small amounts I make from referrals to other sites and I just I don't have any way of making any of you whole if you lost a, a lot of money in this I don't and so I'll just say I'm sorry one more time I'll say thank you to those that are supporting my channel if I was in a place to help you guys out I would talk I would ask, I would I would try you know the only thing I could say I'll try to do is I'll keep making videos on projects that I think are real uh, as you can see, I did one on the, the Celsius project, which I think is a really good project to check out if you're somebody willing to do a, a KYC uh, investment. This is not for anyone that doesn't want to do that, so you're going to have to pay your taxes. Splinterlands is doing their land sale in a couple days. It's got a lot of hype. They're going to be uh, moving on to the next you know, part of that game growing from just a trading card game to also a game with lands and basically crafting of cards by players. That's kind of exciting. I'm going to do a full video on the land uh, pre-sale, I hope, by tomorrow or the day after because I want to get it up before the actual land sale on the 7th. I will keep checking out Tron, um, but, it, I, you know, I have a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth. I'm going to work on fixing that. You guys can still leave comments below on projects you'd like me to look at, and I'll try to take a look at them. But just know at this point, if you don't have a verified smart contract, if you haven't published who you are, they haven't published who you are and who their team is, I'm probably not going to take a serious look at it. Uh, as you can see, I do not, uh, I do like doing Tron videos because you guys watch them. They're my highest viewed videos. Uh, my other Splinterland stuff kind of gets ignored. Celsius did okay, but Tron videos get hundreds of views. This is another reason I feel bad that unfortunately the Tron people didn't do anything to try to stop this. I do know the Sark Tron channel still exists in Telegram. It seems that a lot of the admins of the Telegram, including the one that created it, were caught up in this scam. And so they're doing some things. If you want to try to track it and see if the guy who stole this money ever gets caught, they have also created a secondary channel called Cryptocurrency Support. You can find links to it inside the Sharktron Telegram. They're, they're trying to track down this person. They're trying to track down where he sent their money. They're trying to do tweet campaigns. I've taken a part in a couple of them. They're trying to do something to get the guy caught. I don't know if it would ever lead to us getting our funds back, and I don't think so. So if you lost some, I wouldn't count on that. But if you wanted a little bit of justice, it's possible that these guys will be able to find the person that stole the money. I know people have found people who have stole money in the past because eventually... They try to sell it, and that's when they get caught. And they, the guy is uh, bouncing around the TRX all over the place. You can go through here if you're interested. I, I'm not that hopeful, and honestly, I only I, I only lost f around 7,000 TRX in total value, and that's if I include the uh, the T the TTH and the SWD tokens that I was staking on the Shark DeFi site because I could have sold those for TRX instead of staking them, and so I. I just don't think that's enough money for me to be really active in here. There's some people that are saying they lost hundreds of thousands of TRX that they had staked, and I feel terrible for those people. And I hope they get some justice. I hope somebody catches them. I'm going to end it there. We're coming up on 15 minutes. 
you know, thank you very much, guys, for subscribing to my channel. If you happen to see this, I'm going to continue to try to make some videos on other projects. I'm going to go ahead and start covering some of the stuff on ETH. I want to take a look at HoneySwap. I want to look at the Polkadot network a little bit closer. I want to look at some of these other projects that are coming up that we might be able to do well in. And I'm going to keep my eye on the TRX markets. I'm going to see if I can find a project that is legitimate. I know some of the admins of Sharktron who got scammed feel like the overall idea of Sharktron to set up a, a DeFi a yield farming token that becomes a way to farm your government token, then set up a casino and set up a sports book and do all the things that they were going to try to do would be really cool. I do know that setting up all of that stuff, if you don't know what you're doing and you just try to program it, you could be a site that would be potential to be shut down by government regulators, depending on where you were, because I'm pretty sure you need licensing to run full casinos. So I'm going to start to take that into effect you know in into my mind when I do these things if a project doesn't look like you can legally do what they're trying to do and succeed even if they were to get it up we should maybe just stay away so I hope you're all doing okay I hope that this didn't hurt you too bad and I hope that an overall crypto experience has been good for you take care everyone goodbye